Okay. Um, so, you know, I was scrolling through the playlist of, you know, the channel. And, you know, I have all the teams organized into certain playlists, whether you want to look at Blue Jackets videos, Maple Leafs videos, Islanders videos, whatever. I have them all sorted into different playlists. And, you know, there's teams that I've talked about that have over 20 videos of them having discussions on. But there's some teams that have under five. And, you know, I want to talk about more about those teams because, you know, there's there's a slight fan base of a lot of players, of a lot of a lot of teams around here, and you know, I want to talk about all, t all 31 teams. I want to discuss all the teams, all the recent moves, and it starts with the Blue Jackets. Now, the Blue Jackets, they were they were one of four teams that I've actually seen play in real life, and you know, it was a it was a five to one loss against the Philadelphia Flyers. I got to see you know John Torella, Zach Wierenski, who was one of my favorite players in the Blue Jackets, um, Matisse Kibalekins, um, Elvis Merzlikens, because you know Corpusala was injured at the time the video came out. And, you know, we were just watching it. I was just enjoying my time. And, you know, I've been looking around the Blue Jackets and their recent moves in the past few days. And I think that they're trying to – they're planning something. Um, it's very it's very clear that they are – they're trying to go out and sign a free agent, whether it's, you know, it's either, it's either Petrangelo. You know, I've heard rumors about Taylor Hall. And if they can bring Taylor Hall and Max Domi on the same team, that's going to be trouble. So if they can get – if they get Taylor Hall, I'd be worried about – about facing the Blue Jackets in the, in the Metro. So, you know, the, the, the Blue Jackets over the past three days have acquired Max Domi, uh, Cliff Poo, and a 2021 fifth-round pick. You know, the 2021 fifth-round pick was in basically a cap dump trade, which we'll get into in a second. Uh, Cliff Poo is just an AHL player. I don't think that he'll necessarily have an impact on the Columbus Blue Jackets. But Max Domi, that's the huge one. Max Domi is the big one. And, you know, they also I also have another column here. Where they signed the players. You no, know, Max Domi, they offered him a two year, about three million dollar contract, and that's that's a good move. I think that, you know, that that's a you I mean, Domi has went long term for quite a bit, but I think that, you know, you give him a two year deal, we'll see how he does in these two years. He doesn't need time to prove himself. We know he can be a great NHL player, but he does need to see, we do need to mix him up in these Columbus Blue Jackets lineups and see what he can do, see if he can have sustained success like he has in Montreal over the past few seasons. So, you know, they're just doing this they're doing this I guess test them out on the on the blue jackets but like they won't they don't really need to to be honest with you so you know it, it, it is whatever you can say um who have they traded they have traded josh anderson just a few days ago now that caused a lot of controversy people were angry about the josh anderson max domi trade and to be honest with you both teams kind of won that trade um now first off for people who did watch the josh anderson signing video i apologize actually i had the wrong statistics so you know I had it. Cat Friendly was messed up and said that his first season was last season. And, you know, and that obviously wasn't the case. So, you know, I kind of made a mistake there, but I I regained my mistakes. You know, Josh Anderson, that could help out Montreal significantly. We'll talk about that later. But I think that, you know, Max Domi going back is likely going to help the Canadian, is likely going to help the Blue Jackets a lot. So I think that, you know, Josh Anderson, it is a bit of a tough pill to swallow, but I think Max Domi... Trading Max Domi away is much better. And, you know, Josh Anderson with his, with his injury-prone season, I hope he does well in Montreal, but if he if he keeps doing that, if he has injuries in Montreal like he did this season, I think that Columbus might have just Columbus might have just robbed this trade. Uh, Marcus Nunavara, that's another player they trade away. Now, Marcus Nunavara has a $2 million, $700,000 in, in, in a cap. So, you know, this is basically another cap dump trade. You know, they acquired Cliff Poo in that trade. I love saying that name. And, you know, it's still a great, it's still a great acquisition. I think that you know, with New Navarra, he's gonna, he just hasn't really proved himself in Columbus, to be honest with you. So that's that's one of the things that I say, and you know that, you know, it's a it's a big cap dump, and you know that's part of the reason I'm signing a free agent. Now Ryan Murray, Ryan Murray is someone they traded just just two days ago, and you know, he has five million dollars in cap or around four million dollars in cap space, five million dollars getting close to there. And you know, I think that's a great. I think that's a great acquisition because you know, you traded him away for a fifth round pick. That clears a ton. Um, you combine the cap space. Josh Anderson is a um is a UFA, so he has no cap dollars. Um, Habs have signing rights to him. We know how that went. Um, Nudavar, who has two point seven million dollars in cap space, that's out of the books. So, and then you add Ryan Murray's four point six million dollars in cap space around there. That adds up to about seven million dollars in cap space you just cleared. They're trying to get someone. They, they are obviously trying to get someone. I would, you know, they didn't sign anyone today because, you know, Petrangelo 
Taylor Hall, you know, all those other players, all the great defensemen and all those great offensemen are still on the board. And I think that, you know, they were running the phones last night trying to get trying to get one of these players, maybe even trying to trade for one of these players. We don't know. So I think that, you know, with Columbus, I think that this is great. A no. Just a few days ago, they also signed Matisse Kivalekins, and I think that's a great signing. I think that, you know, Matisse Kivalekins, he hasn't exactly had much time to prove himself, but I think that, you know, you give him the time to prove himself this season, I think that you'll have a significant great great third goaltender. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for the Blue Jackets conversation. We'll definitely do this for more teams. Um, there is there is going to be some more 2020 reviews, all that good stuff coming up. Um, again, I did say I would recap free agency, and I'm going to, but I had I wanted to make a video about this first. And, um, you know, I am working on the, the free agency notes. I have I've have two pages worth of the free agents. I think I have about 60 of them, 60 of them written down, so I have about 18 more to go. So, yeah, we're only going to recap day one. Recap day two tomorrow. So, yeah. Anyways, that's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you did enjoy, do me a like and subscribe. I want to check out the six subscribers. Why you didn't do this? Sports been unreal. It's been so much fun doing these YouTube videos with you guys. And I can't wait to do more videos like this. You know, just discussing teams that I may have not discussed before. Even teams that I have discussed before. You know, teams that I've discussed in over 20 videos. I want to have discussions about, about a lot of teams. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next video.